I'll do a quick video. It's not done yet. But if this is coming down the front, these all have to be tied and bundled up. But this is with you coming down the side of the road here. The neighbors are supposed to be going camping, but it doesn't look like they're leaving yet. Here's what you see. Be careful stepping over these palm fronds. There's the backyard. You can actually see our house. I don't know if you can see from here. There's the yard. Okay, you go up to the front. Well, the side's still. There's still this many buckets are all full again. And I mean, they're really full. Chopped all up. Here's the front. I'm going to trim those little stick things there. That are right there. These are all full. We'll put them out. Very, very full. The front has not been done yet. This is the section that Dottie did, you know, cleaned up after Doris did this section a little bit. And uh, Dottie has cleaned it up even more and it's going to be an ongoing effort to keep it trimmed. That's what the front yard looks now. That's not been touched yet. But here we go. So I'll go up in the front and all that stuff is all gone. I have to trim those palm fronds there, but they're kind of high. I don't know if I can get them. Those two have to be gone. Okay, so here we go. Walk down the sidewalk. Dottie's edged this left side and a little bit of the right side. Pretty far, but I've got to try to do it up closer to my house. That's what it looks like. That's going to all be have to be cleaned up there. It's blooming again, but it's it got broken in the center of it. It's breezy today and nice. That palm tree needs to be trimmed too. So that's not been touched yet. We will get to it. I mean, it was touched from Rick when he cut it way back, but it hasn't been, we haven't been doing anything for the past few months. This palm tree's gotten out of control. I guess we can take a couple of those off, but that's, and this camphor tree, I think I'm gonna just take that down. That's right against the stump there that I thought I would put a table, but never did. And this is where we had the tree taken down, where the fence fell down first, and then the, straight across here goes right up to the neighbor's yard but I thought that tree was pretty small but actually it's not that small everything smells of camphor back here because these were camphor trees so I've got to clean this whole thing up here but that's the tree that was taken down and you can see there's a pretty palm tree that needs to uh, be trimmed up but you couldn't even see it there you didn't even know it was there and it's nice and then these bottom ones and look you can see our house this huge thing well, that I'm thinking we should take that limb down right there that'll be the next tree work and got to clean up this section of jungle stuff here that's corner of the property I've trimmed all the palm fronds against our yard and the guy helped me take down some vine that was going all up here. Huge, thick, Tarzan-style vine. So I've got to clean up some of those things. And I think we're going to get rid of this little tree. It looks pretty sad. I think Poppy probably planted that, but it looks pretty sad. I think I hit it with a lot more ones. But that's the big clump that was a huge camper forest, like a whole bunch of trees there. So go up to where that tree was taken down. So there's the... Um, shed and the tornado tore up the flag right I have to take that down this all has to be done still that's a gigantic forest right there by Nina's 
perch. But if you look up that way, there's lots of stuff still stuck on the ground I have to pick up, but I'm out of buckets. So this is, this is over to our house. Like I said, I'm gonna clean up some more on our side of some of these things. And this is how many stumps that were there. This was a great huge tree. I don't know if you remember, Debbie, you were here most recently and we're in the backyard, but this is multi-trunked. And like I said, I gotta clean it up, but he did cut it down pretty far. It'll probably grow back. Maybe we can let some of it grow back into a little small tree and just keep it up. But that's the, that's the view. And then going back to the house. So like I said, the left side over there, nothing's been done and it's a jungle. And over here, way up in the corner, we'll probably just weed that out a little bit, but leave most of those palm fronds there. And then these have been cleaned up by me and I've got more to do. And there we go. This is the tree stump that I thought we would be able to make a table out of, but it's getting all rotted and yucky. But it's got this cool cactus growing and these get like flowers, so it's kind of creepy looking. I don't know. Maybe I'll keep it, maybe not. But that camphor tree, I think I'm going to take down. That's just going to be a mess. Flowers that bloomed right when Nina passed away that had never bloomed for 20 years is still blooming. I have to get it up a little bit more tied up and stuff. And there it is. Lots of blooms. And i got to tie it up more. I'm going to go in up the tree a little bit and fix our 604. Ready, right? This is my Nina. My Nina go to heaven our tree. Yard. In our yard. I have to do that. Garden. Right there. That's my garden that needs some help. But the palm tree came down. And over here, this also is a garden that needs help. We got that fence up a little bit, right? Good. And then this where the garbage used to be. And I've got to clear that all out. But there used to be a palm tree there as well. That were in front of our house that we had Rick transplant. Now they're huge trees. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. Do we make it like a huge hedge? Do we make it like a tree underneath? I don't know. And sit underneath it, maybe that. Maybe trim the bottom branches and have it be trees on the top. The whole point was to not see through to the next yard so we'd have some privacy, so I don't know. I'm gonna take down some more of that camphor tree stuff that's over there. I don't know if you can see it right over there. And then this is going around the back of our yard. Since it took the trees down, the grass is growing nicely. But we have nothing to block the neighbors, so we're just letting the weedy, butterfly-type-ish plants grow, or I am letting it grow. Got to trim these palm fronds. So it's getting kind of little forest, like over here. And the only one that's going to grow tall enough is that one over there to block anything, but there's always things to clean up everywhere. Okay, so walk around the back of our yard. We didn't have this open, but we do now. I think it might have been open when Jason and Tommy were here. Yeah, it was open then. And there's the backyard, which all that junk on the left side there is gonna all come down. There's like a camphor tree there. See all the multi stalks? That's what was over at next door, but it was kind of came all the way down. Okay, that's it.